Tom Sudica, one stock you like at the LK Balance Fund is Chicago Bridge and Iron. Now, this came down with a lot of the other energy-related names, but it's bounced back a bit since February. Is the bottom in? I think, that, I think you're exactly right. It did come down. The bottom is in. Uh, here's a company that's earning five, five and a half dollars a share in 2015, just earned five, trading in the 40s, mid 40s. So let's say it's under a 10 multiple. It's got revenue growth of 17% over the last year. It looks incredibly cheap. It has, as you pointed out, been painted with the uh, energy broad brush and it came down with that. Only about 5% of their business is directly related to energy. In fact, they may be an, an odd beneficiary in the sense that they build storage facilities for oil and gas, and right now we have a supply glut. So we need more storage to put the oil into. So they, they actually are a nice beneficiary of what's going on. Earnings growth continues, revenue growth continues, and the stock looks really cheap. And you're also a fan of Cato Corporation. This is a southeastern retailer. It's had a great year over the last 12 months, but it's been fairly a uh, rough ride in March. What's the problem right now? Well, February sales and in early March were, were greatly affected by weather. Uh, management says, you know, two weeks of horrible weather in the southeast. Nobody went out and spent any money. January, retail sales were actually up. Uh, the company itself is, it continues to do very well. What they do is, is, is do, you know, mid-priced clothing, primarily for women in strip malls. Uh, fabulous balance sheet, uh, no debt, $240 million in cash, uh, about $9 a share. So the stock is really cheap when you strip out the cash and uh, it keeps, keeps the company going forward there. And then finally, you like Texas Pacific Land Trust. They own a lot of land in Texas, which is worth not what it used to be worth because of the fall in oil prices. So why do you like it now? Texas Pacific is a great story in the sense that all they do is they sell land, and then they actually when they sell land, they keep the oil right. So the, the fall in oil prices hasn't really affected what they're selling the land for. So their last deal was 19 million, 19,000 acres for $19 million, so about $1,000 an acre. If you use that valuation on the rest of their holdings, it's about $90 a share. So you've got a $50 residual value company uh, that you, know, you would value on the, on the value of the stock or the, the earnings that are coming from the oil and gas. Uh, on, in addition to that, what they do is they take all that money and all they do is buy in their units. Over the last 20 years, they bought in about almost 50% of their units. They do that for the next 20 years and you see this just kind of compounds its way down and you make a lot of money if you hold the thing uh, for the long term. All right. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching The Street.